uh, omit is uh, is something you're definitely going to come into contact with when you're doing TypeScript uh, at any kind of high caliber. It's pretty complicated, actually, but if you break it down, I think it will make a decent amount of sense. So it's kind of like the opposite of pick, if you want to think of it that way. We have some type, in this case, to do, and we pass in a union of strings which correspond to keys of that type. And what we expect out is another interface, but without those properties that I gave in the second parameter, the, the union of keys. So it's kind of uh, what it says, I think, omit. You're omitting description from a type that includes description as one of the uh, properties. Ian, where would you start? Uh, let's see. Can we do anything with our generics to constrain them? Um, I think we can do... We want to make sure that that the K is a key of the, the right. type that we're being passed, yep. right? Yep, and E1 covers that case where we're passing in something that is not actually a, a key. That should error. Perfect. There we go. All right. Yeah, great. Uh, and, then, and then this, like we said, is going to be another object mm -hmm. or type, I guess, object yep. type, type object, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, so before, when we were doing the... Uh, like the other way around, it was it was kind of easy because you would just give back the the type that you wanted. But here, what do we I can grab it? Actually, we... I mean, for anybody who's interested, we just solved this one pick, and this right. is what it looked like. It's very similar. I was saying in the beginning, it's kind of like we're doing the opposite of pick. So we can we can reference it. If I did this, This is where it gets a little bit tricky, right? Because I don't want it if it's in K. Can I tell you a like, trick? Uh, yeah. If somehow inside of the brackets here, the square brackets, or are they square braces? Mm, I don't remember. Somebody in the comments can clarify. In the square guys, if you return never somehow, then it will just exclude, it just kind of skips that entry. So we can have exactly the same thing over here. We can say T, P over here. But then, do right. you see where I'm going? Yeah, I think so. So I would do something like P. Uh, I needed some kind of an extends, right? Or like mm -hmm. a, a check so that I can do uh, you know, never otherwise P or something like that, right? Uh, yes. Not, not, not with this. this yeah. Kind of yeah, you got it. Um, so... So there's a there's a thing called a oh man what is it called it's it's a as remapping I think it's what it's called so you're kind of okay. remapping a value so what we could do here is we could say uh, p in key of t I think we have to do that part um, and then we can say p extends k and then yeah I mean you basically had it but this is it this is uh, we're saying if p is in key of t. Um, and then we're remapping it to P, and then we're saying, does it extend K? So K is a subset of the keys of T. So that's the reason why we can't say P and K, because then it's kind of like a tautology. It's just like a always true type of thing, or I guess it would be a contradiction. Anyway. Right. If we, so we've already set up here that it's going to be right. in the keys of T. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or, or, yeah, exactly. Or like here, rather. In this one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... This is the way we do it. If you want to remap those things, the purpose of doing that is that sometimes you'll return never, and that's what we're doing. We're saying, does some key of T, so go through all the keys of T, and if any of them extend K, meaning if any of those keys are assignable to the union that we passed in here, then give us back never. Otherwise, uh, give us that key. And then if you do that, it kind of becomes exactly like what we had before with pick. You see? Right. Yep. Uh, there's there's another so I'm gonna go through I'll show you some some different uh, ways that people solved this. Here's another one. I thought this one was kind of fascinating because it it highlights where exclude fits into the mix here. So exclude basically does that job. Does a extend b return never otherwise re return a? And you can just lop that whole thing in here in place of what we had before, and it works. It's just a simple kind of refactor that you can pick things in one at a time if that makes any sense it's um, like making a function for something and yeah it's yeah exactly it's like a helper i like that yeah. it's like a helper function um 
I saw another example that somebody did where they kind of made it a little more intense. You can use the infer keyword. I don't think this is very necessary, but you know, it's another way to solve it. They're saying, uh, does my exclude extend key of T other, uh, you know, then pass in those things with my exclude as the keys, otherwise return never. Uh, like what should happen when it doesn't work like that is not really defined. Like w there's no test that would ever hit this never case. But anyway, some someone yeah. put some effort into it. I thought I would show it. I thought it was kind of interesting. Then there are, uh, there's this one, which I think is really cute. Um, this is a nope, but uh, it, it does pass the tests. Uh, <laughs> let's look at omit as it exists in the st TypeScript standard library. So I'll format it a little bit here. This is basically what we've seen so far. We did pick. Omit is like the opposite of pick, and we're just using exclude. So we're leveraging pick, but we're using exclude. If you want, it's a good exercise to understand this. Kind of expand all of this. Write in exclude with key of T and K. Write in pick, and then you'll have like a full omit type that's pretty close to what we wrote here. And you'll be able to see kind of how it, how it all pans out and how it looks. Um, you know, that's the same for also people did exactly that, or they would use pick and exclude. I guess it's fine, but not deeply in spirit with what the challenges are setting out to do because, you know, whatever. But you will need to use these in your day-to-day -day life, so maybe fine. <laughs>